Have you thought that you could eat everything, heal your body, and reclaim the joy of food? Every day. Well, that's the title of physician Don Harris Sherling's book. She shares the secrets to heal your body and reclaim the joy found in food, and I got a chance to speak with her. Take a look. I'm joined with Dr. Don Harris Sherling. She's the author of the book, Eat Everything. Thank you so much, Dr. Sherling, for speaking with me today. Thank you, this is great. Yeah, so talk to us about your book, Eat Everything, and the inspiration behind it. So I wrote this book, Eat Everything, because I was the doctor who became the patient. I started developing the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome like a lot of my patients had over the years and was pretty miserable with it, tried all the things I had told my patients to do that they had shared didn't really work very well, and in fact, they were right. Um, but then I took a trip to Italy with my family, and I was fine. I said, wait a minute, what's going on here? What's different here in Italy that is, is different from what I'm doing back in the US? So I started doing a deep dive into the published literature and found out in the last few years, and I think your, your viewers have probably seen this too, all of this information on ultra-processed food is coming out. Yeah. Also about all of these food additives leading to things like diabetes and fatty liver and metabolic syndrome and, and irritable bowel syndrome. And I said, let me cut these out. I did. I told my patients to cut them out. They did. We all got better. And I decided to write a book about it. And sometimes cutting something out of your daily routine can be tough. Uh, how do you do that? I mean, is it kind of a slow process or do you go cold turkey? Yeah, I, I'm not a cold turkey kind of person. I know there are cold turkey people out there and I respect them very much, but I think it's easiest when we do things bit by bit. So in my book, Eat Everything, I try to make it really practical for people, talking about how we can make easy substitutions, start reading ingredient lists, and, and really get back to whole foods and start cutting out the stuff that, that doesn't need to be in our diet and that wasn't in our diet, you know, 50 years ago. And Dr. Sherling, something that we see a lot, statistics, you know, so many Americans um, have high rates of obesity and diabetes in the world. Why do you think that is? So we're starting to, to figure that out. We're starting to see a really strong correlation with the amount of ultra processed foods a community eats and ultra processed, what is that? That's um, the foods that aren't traditionally processed, the foods that have a lot of sugar and salt, but also these other additives that we call emulsifiers or thickeners, things to keep them stable on the shelf a really long time. And so we find that in communities where they're eating a lot of these ultra processed foods, by the way, in the US, 60% of our diet is ultra processed now. And for kids, it may be as high as 70%. So we know that when communities have higher rates of these ultra processed foods, they have higher rates of diabetes, of heart disease, maybe even dementia, mental illness is starting to be correlated with it. And so it's just, it's time we get this stuff out and it's actually not as hard as, as you might think. And doing this can sometimes be difficult. Would you say that it's important to have a support system around you? So it's great when the whole family wants to participate and your friends want to participate in something that makes any change easier. But this really is amazing. And when I was in Italy, within 24 hours, my bowels were back to acting normally. For my patients, when they make the changes to cut out the ultra processed stuff, the stuff with emulsifiers and other additives, their blood sugar starts to stabilize really, really quickly. And that positive reinforcement that, that we get, yes, from our friends and our family is great, but when we get it from our own bodies within 24 hours, 48 hours a week, that really shows what we're doing is, is making an impact. That really reinforces that and, and makes us want to keep going with these changes and eating more whole foods and getting rid of a lot of the ultra processed stuff. And in your book, you have some simple ways to reclaim your health and lose weight without a restrictive diet. Can you share some of those tips with us? Absolutely. So. How you start to do this is basically start looking for whole foods. So if you're, if or minimally processed foods. So if you're eating yogurt, look at the back of the ingredients and it should just say milk and yogurt cultures and that's it. And then if you wanna add your own fruit to it, your own, um, a little bit of honey, whatever you like, that's great. But you know what's going into it and it's good whole foods. Cheese, if you're buying that packaged shredded cheese, it's coated in a bunch of stuff um, to keep it from spoiling. But if you just buy a block of cheese and shred it yourself, which you can do in 30 seconds, 
boom, done, and you don't have all those additives in there. And so you're making these small changes day by day, get rid of the package dressings, the package sauces. We can make them ourselves. My book has a lot of tips for how to do that really, really quickly. In a minute, two minutes, you can have a dressing and avoid all those additives. And when you do make certain changes, this doesn't mean you can't go out and eat at restaurants anymore. What are some good reminders for people that still like to treat themselves and go out, but still want to stay strict on their new change? Yeah, so we should. We should go out. We should enjoy ourselves. We should hang out with our friends. And food should be a source of joy and enjoyment. And for so many of us, it's a source of worry and struggle. And it shouldn't be that way. So when you're eating out, the same rules kind of apply. Look for things that look like whole foods. If it looks like how it looked when it came out of the ground or closer to that, or if you like to eat meat, the meat looks like, you know, the animal it came from and it, it doesn't have all this stuff done to it because we don't know what's going into it in the restaurants, you're much better off. So again, the closer to nature we try to eat, the better off we are. All right. Good tips. Good information right there. Dr. Sherling, where can people go for more information on your book, Eat Everything? So my website, drdawnsherling.com uh, is, is a place that people can go. Uh, Amazon, the book is available there. Barnes and Noble, everywhere books are found. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing this and uh, also just trying to help so many people in the world eat healthy. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you too.